Hey, hey homos. homos! Welcome back to episode three. I said homo like you, then I went homos. 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 Uh, homos. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome to our living room. Again. You've seen it many times. We this keep, bookshelf needs a tidy, We babe. keep threatening to tidy the bookshelf. It's because I think when I... Keegan likes trinkets. Sorry, we're straight into a little tangent here. Hello. Um, Keegan likes trinkets and decorative things. And then when I moved in, I shoved a few things of mine on the shelf. And now it's just, it looks unkempt. But when I moved in, it was trinkety, but it wasn't as trinkety. Trinkety, trinkety. Trinkety, trink. <laughs> it's like blankety blank. <laughs> but the game show is to guess the trinkets. I don't okay. know. Well, the podcast is still Happy Healthy Homo. I am still Keegan. And I'm still John, just having a sip of coffee. And we are still boyfriends. Yeah. For the people who are just listening to this podcast, that was an amazing opening. Yeah. Um, it wasn't our usual opening. Very like, visual. Yeah. So sorry if you're listening. <laughs> um, but um, we, we, we don't have a lot of parish notices for today, but we do have an announcement. So yeah. I'm going to do it in the megaphone voice. So because I'm doing an announcement, this is announcement voice. Okay. If you go to happyhealthyhomo.com, you will see we have live articles up there blogs that people have written not us not keegan not joe but you guys the you, the, the you well actually the happy healthy homo writers hang on let me take that thing okay. off because that's going to get irritating <laughs> that is off the happy healthy homo writers we have a team of writers that are <laughs> that, that sounds so much more official it does yeah. no but it is we had a zoom call with him the other day like because I didn't want to just say you guys, because not just anyone can write for our website. These are people oh, yeah. that have been vetted, that are experienced, who like are good writers. Yeah, they have, and like, have something to say. Yeah, they have a, a level of experience, but they're also happy, healthy homo yeah. fans, mm -hmm. listeners. Um, so, and we've and what was amazing, like Joe said, we did a Zoom call, and we had people from literally across the world: yeah. Australia, uh, North America. Um, all, all across Europe and the UK. Yeah. We were very, very international writers. Room. Oh, we are. We had parents. We had people who were gay. We had allies. We had uh, we had one woman, which is brilliant. So yeah. actually, if there are any more female writers out there, get in touch with us. Or anyone, if you if you want to join the team, mm. then drop us an email or Harry an email at hello at happyhealthyhomo.com and we might be able to hook you up. But yeah, head to our website because there are now live articles on there about all things to do with LGBTQ+. Plus things and more so this week's episode mm -hmm. it's a little bit different yeah it's just a little bit chatty guys we just thought you know what this isn't an episode where we've got something set out to talk about let's just try having a little chit chat a little goss because oh we noticed from the end of season three when we asked you guys for your favorite moments some most of your favorite moments from the podcast weren't actually to do with the topics they were just to do with like the tangents that we went on so we were like what if once in a while in season four we do one of these little chit chat ones where we just go off on tangents i mean and just it, have a talk it smacks of we couldn't be asked preparing anything it does so we've... which is not true because we are going to record more episodes this week that are you know that did take preparation <laughs> uh but yeah this one well this what, one's just what see we, what happens what, well what we thought we would do is because summer is over, summer is dead. Ding dong, summer is dead. Finally, um, yeah. I'd see Joe's, Joe's one of those weird people, and you see these people on TikTok who are like, "Yeah, Halloween's coming." Um, what's the music from the Harry Potter thing? Do, 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 Not that do, do. one. Something oh. wicked this way comes yeah. or something. Yeah. Something wicked this way comes. There you go. Um, and they play that on repeat and they go, oh, I'm going to get cozy. I don't like Halloween, so I'm not one of those people. I but hate Halloween. They like autumn. They like, basically they like yeah. it being cold. Or as we might call them miserable twats. Why, why is it miserable when it's joyful to be cozy? The rain's coming down. The leaves are all brown. They're falling off the trees. The Great British Bake Off starts. You get under a blanket. Like, how is that miserable? Now listen, I'm not saying that the act of doing any of those things is bad. Like, I love doing those. Things. You know me. Yeah. I'm the laziest man I know. I <laughs> it's not true. Um, I love doing all those things when it is time to do them. I don't spend May, June, July, and August going... I hate the summer. I wish the summer had gone. I wish... i tell you what he complains about. The light, it being light on a morning. Yeah. 
Because I need my sleep. And when the light is streaming in at 4 a.m. You sleep with an eye it's mask not a, Yeah, and it still sneaks under the little oh, nose pouches. Oh my God, what a princess. Honestly, it's so annoying. I think the sun should rise. If I was president, this is what I'd do. I'd make the sun rise at 7 a.m. and the sun set at 7 p.m. 12 hours of daylight, that's all we need. We don't need any more, no less either. But in the UK, we will get like six hours of sunlight so, soon. <laughs> president... Whoever you may be currently, if you yeah. could sort that out. Yeah, please. This is some like omnipotent Yeah, president the weather president. Have you never heard of him? 